In the midst of the ongoing Russian-Ukrainian war, a paradigm shift is evident as tanks face unprecedented challenges. The once dominant armored giants, symbolized by the panther instead of the leopard, find themselves grappling with the evolving dynamics of warfare. As Russians spearhead Germany's new tank, the battlefield is witnessing a transformation that questions the very essence of these heavy war machines. While tanks played a pivotal role in World War II, their effectiveness has dwindled over the years. Once hailed as decisive weapons, tanks now struggle to assert dominance on modern battlefields. The traditional might of armored units is called into question, paving the way for a reassessment of their role in contemporary conflicts. The battlefield landscape has drastically changed with the emergence of kamikaze drones and sophisticated handheld anti-tank missile systems. These advancements pose an imminent threat to traditional tank warfare, revealing a stark reality. Today's tanks lack an adequate response against these agile and technologically advanced adversaries. Amidst the challenges posed by modern warfare, a pertinent question arises, is it time to bury the tanks? Contrary to this notion, the allure of the tank persists. An armored, protected, highly mobile gun capable of directly supporting troops on the battlefield remains an attractive concept. Panther KF-51 On June 17, 2022, the Euro Satori exhibition in Paris unveiled a highly anticipated prototype, signaling Germany's move to replace the aging Leopard 2 tank. Named Panther KF-51, this new vehicle, although characterized as a technology demonstrator, provides a glimpse into the future of German tank technology. While specific details remain undisclosed, the exhibition offered valuable insights into the Panther's potential. Armin Papperger, CEO of Rheinmetall, the company behind the Panther KF-51, presented the prototype as a natural progression within the Leopard 2 tank family. This strategic alignment not only leverages the reputation of the proven Leopard series, but also hints at design similarities, particularly in the chassis and turret. The Panther's structural elements, possibly including components from the Leopard 2, contribute to its evolution as a formidable successor. A notable innovation showcased by the Panther KF-51 is the integration of an automatic loader. This design choice eliminates the need for a loader within the turret, allowing for a more streamlined and efficient operational setup. The positioning of the commander and gunner on either side of the gun, coupled with a designated workspace for the tank unit commander or UAV operator, reflects a thoughtful reconfiguration of the tank's internal layout. Acknowledging the contemporary challenges faced by modern tanks, Panther KF-51 prioritizes defense, a critical aspect often deemed the Achilles' heel of armored vehicles. With a keen understanding that enhanced protection correlates with increased weight, the prototype employs composite armor. This move counters the notion that composite armor severs the link between a tank's weight and its protection, as demonstrated by recent heavy modifications like the American Abrams and the Leopard 2A7 Plus, which weighs an impressive 70 tons. As Panther KF-51 tackles the challenge of maintaining a delicate equilibrium between advanced defense capabilities, particularly against sub-caliber shells, and the associated weight implications, the prototype exemplifies the ongoing struggle faced by tank designers. Achieving robust protection without compromising mobility remains a central theme in the evolution of tank technology. The Eurosatori exhibition provided a platform for Panther KF-51 to make its debut captivating audiences composed of journalists, military experts, and professionals. The strategic positioning of the commander, gunner, and additional workspace emphasizes the human-centric design, acknowledging the evolving roles within modern tank warfare. With Panther KF-51 being positioned as a continuation of the Leopard 2 family, the prototype not only benefits from the legacy of its predecessors, but also signifies a commitment to building upon proven platforms. The echoes of Leopard features, both in appearance and design, hint at a seamless integration of lessons learned from past successes. 
While the exact specifications of Panther KF-51 remain undisclosed, its emergence as a technology demonstrator sparks anticipation for future revelations. As the tank undergoes further testing and development, the military community awaits detailed insights into the innovations that will define its role on the modern battlefield. Advanced German Tanks Despite not progressing into production, the Panther KF-51 prototype emerges as a significant innovation in Germany's tank development endeavors. Weighing 59 tons, the Panther distinguishes itself with a comparatively leaner profile amongst its counterparts. While specific figures regarding its resistance capabilities remain undisclosed, the tank's tonnage suggests a passive armor level unlikely to surpass that of the Leopard 2A7. The absence of precise resistance data hinders a detailed evaluation, but the Panther's weight indicates a distinct approach to passive armor. Unlike its heavier counterparts, the Panther emphasizes agility, hinting at a potential trade-off in armor thickness. The manufacturer asserts the inclusion of dynamic defense, a feature commonplace in contemporary tank design as seen in conflicts such as the Russian-Ukrainian War. Panther KF-51 introduces dynamic defense, a strategy integral to modern tank survivability. In the context of conflicts like the Russian-Ukrainian War, tanks equipped with dynamic protection systems have demonstrated enhanced resilience. The Panther's dynamic defense system, utilizing the Advanced Modular Armor Protection System from ADS Gulashaft, employs a 600 kilobarge modular structure with guided fusing munitions. This active defense mechanism reacts within a mere 56 milliseconds, capable of neutralizing various threats including anti-tank grenades, rockets, and sub-caliber projectiles. For active protection, Panther KF-51 relies on the Advanced Modular Armor Protection System. A sophisticated setup, weighing 600 caliber, utilizes guided fusing munitions to detect and counter incoming threats. The system's sensors determine projectile trajectory, speed, and type facilitating quick decision-making by the onboard computer for countermeasures. With a reaction speed of 56 milliseconds, the system offers robust protection against a range of munitions. While the exact specifications of Panther KF-51 remain undisclosed, its emergence as a technology demonstrator sparks anticipation for future revelations. As the tank undergoes further testing and development, the military community awaits detailed insights into the innovations that will define its role on the modern battlefield. As homing anti-tank missiles increasingly target tank roofs, Panther features a dedicated system for detection and counteraction. Rin Metal emphasizes the installation of an aerosol curtain, which masks the tank in the upper hemisphere in the infrared range. While the details of detection mechanisms are somewhat unclear, it is likely that infrared and ultraviolet cameras play a role in identifying missile radiation. Complementing Panther's air defense capabilities is a 7.62 mm caliber remote-controlled machine gun with 2,500 rounds of ammunition. This feature serves to counter unmanned aerial vehicles, providing the tank with an additional layer of defense against emerging threats on the modern battlefield. The Panther KF-51 prototype acknowledges the evolving landscape of tank warfare, balancing the need for advanced defense mechanisms with considerations of weight and agility. The emphasis on dynamic defense, anti-missile systems, and air defense capabilities reflects a proactive approach to address the challenges posed by contemporary conflicts. While Panther KF-51 may not have entered production, its technological advancements offer valuable insights into the future direction of German tank development. The incorporation of innovative defense systems positions Panther as a formidable contender in the evolving realm of armored warfare. Firepower and Ability The Panther KF-51 introduces a pivotal feature in its arsenal, the 130mm smoothbore gun L-52. This choice deviates from the conventional trends in Western tank development, where 140mm caliber guns have garnered attention. Recognizing the limitations of 120mm guns in service, which have exhausted their modernization potential, Panther's designers opted for a balanced approach with the 130mm L-52, 
offering increased muzzle energy without compromising on weight or transportable ammunition. The L-52 exhibits similarity in weight and dimensions to its 120mm predecessor, while providing 1.5 times more muzzle energy and a 10mm increase in barrel diameter. This enhancement facilitates the creation of more powerful ammunition for various purposes, while the 120mm RH-20 L-44 gun on Leopard 2A5 tanks penetrates up to 660 mm of armor, the new 130mm gun boasts a formidable penetration capability of up to 1,000 mm as claimed by developers. This increased firepower positions Panther as a potent force on the battlefield, with no existing tanks expected to withstand a direct hit from its formidable gun, even in the front projection of the turret. Despite the advantages of the 130mm gun, the introduction of an intermediate caliber comes with challenges. The mass of unitary rounds has increased to approximately 40 kelis, prompting the replacement of a human loader with an automatic loader with a 20-round capacity. An additional 10 rounds are stored in non-mechanized stowage. This meticulous design ensures a balance between firepower and logistical considerations, enabling Panther to maintain a universal combat role. In a bid to enhance Panther's versatility, German designers incorporated a launcher for kamikaze drones, specifically the Hero 120 from the Israeli company U-Vision. Positioned on the turret's roof, the launcher allows the tank crew to alternately deploy up to four drones. This innovative addition transforms Panther into a multifunctional combat vehicle, enabling various crew members to operate these drones for tactical advantages on the battlefield. The integration of a kamikaze drone launcher broadens Panther's tactical capabilities. Hero 120 drones serve multiple purposes, offering reconnaissance, target acquisition, and engagement capabilities. This tactical adaptation enhances Panther's ability to operate in diverse scenarios, providing real-time intelligence and engagement options beyond the traditional scope of tank warfare. To accommodate these advanced features, Panther's crew composition is designed for optimal adaptability. The loader's role, traditionally carried out by a human crew member, is now handled by the automatic loader, freeing up human resources for other critical tasks. This reconfiguration emphasizes Panther's commitment to versatility, ensuring the tank remains a formidable force across different operational contexts. Panther KF-51 embodies the concept of a universal combat vehicle, capable of seamlessly transitioning between various roles on the battlefield. The integration of cutting-edge weaponry and tactical systems aligns with the evolving nature of modern warfare, where adaptability and multifunctionality are crucial for success. The Panther KF-51's advancements in firepower and tactical adaptability offer a glimpse into the future of tank development. As military requirements continue to evolve, the integration of sophisticated systems and weaponry becomes imperative for maintaining a competitive edge. Panther's innovative approach sets a benchmark for future tank designs, emphasizing the need for balance between firepower, logistics, and tactical versatility. Technology and Connectivity the Panther KF-51 showcases its tactical versatility with the integration of the Hero 120, a 12.5 kg barrage munition featuring a 3.5 kg warhead of shaped charge or high explosive type. Capable of flying up to 40 calendar day and night, the Hero 120 plays a crucial role in Panther's firepower, providing a lethal and precise engagement capability against a variety of targets. Panther's targeting systems, though not radically different from the latest Leopards, offer a multi-channel sight with thermal imaging channels, automatic target tracking, and a laser rangefinder. The transparent armor system, equipped with cameras in all projections of the tank, provides enhanced visibility to all crew members. This innovation ensures that not only the commander or gunner, but also the mechanic driver can monitor the external environment through displays, facilitating a comprehensive situational awareness for the entire crew, Panther stands out as one of the few combat vehicles fully aligned with the NATO Generic Vehicle Architecture NVA, standard. The majority of its systems are interconnected through a single data exchange bus, accessible to every crew member. 
This integration enables seamless information sharing and control through special interfaces connected to a central onboard computer. The crew can perform various functions, such as displaying drone images, without leaving their respective workstations. This adaptability positions Panther as a modular platform capable of evolving with future technological advancements. With a reduced crew size of three, Panther reflects a conscious design choice aimed at achieving greater automation and operational efficiency. RIN Metal emphasizes the tank's forward-looking approach, asserting its capability to further reduce the number of tankers through ongoing system automation. The design leaves room for a potential fourth person in the control compartment, indicating a strategic vision for incorporating advanced technologies or a dedicated operator for controlling a fleet of drones. Panther relies on the time-proven MT-MT883 engine, a 1,500-horsepower, 12-cylinder, V-shaped, four-stroke diesel engine. With a weight of 59 tons, Panther achieves a thrust capacity of 25.4 horsepower per ton, placing it among the top performers in its class. The engine's reliability and power contribute to Panther's agility and maneuverability on the battlefield. Closing thoughts. Despite the integration of advanced munitions like the Hero 120, the Panther KF-51 raises questions about its combat value. The use of kamikaze drones as part of the tank armament appears highly questionable, prompting scrutiny of the tank's overall effectiveness on the battlefield. The ambivalent impression is fueled by concerns that Rin Metal may be repackaging an older product without addressing core issues, casting doubt on the tank's practicality and operational utility. The likelihood of Panther's adoption into service is met with skepticism, especially within the German governmental structures and expert circles. Critics argue that Rin Metal's motives might extend beyond military innovation, suggesting an attempt to disrupt the cooperation between Germany and France in creating a unified tank. With Germany allocating a substantial budget for the modernization of its army, questions arise about the Panther's practicality and the potential ulterior motives behind its development. Some experts propose that Rin Metal's push for the Panther could be a strategic move to claim a share of the budget allocated for the German army's modernization. This claim gains credibility in the context of geopolitical considerations, particularly amid the rising tensions in Europe. The tank's introduction is viewed through the lens of broader political dynamics, potentially impacting cooperative ventures between European nations in the defense sector. Critics argue that Western tank builders, including Rin Metal, may not have thoroughly analyzed the lessons from the Russian-Ukrainian war. The urgency of developing effective and modern tanks is emphasized, given predictions of an inevitable conflict with Russia in the foreseeable future. The Panthers questionable combat value raises concerns about the preparedness of Western tank designs for potential conflicts and the need for a more comprehensive understanding of evolving warfare dynamics. As warnings of an impending conflict persist, many experts, politicians, and NATO military officials stress the urgency for Western tank builders to adapt and innovate rapidly. The Panther KF-51, with its perceived shortcomings, highlights the time constraints faced by Western nations to develop tanks that align with modern requirements and address the evolving nature of warfare. The evaluation of the new German tank, Panther KF-51, extends beyond its technical specifications. The tank's combat value, potential adoption into service, and political implications are integral aspects that require careful consideration. As geopolitical tensions rise, the urgency for effective tank designs becomes paramount, urging Western tank builders to critically assess and enhance their capabilities to meet the challenges of contemporary warfare.